If you've never been fond of Telltale's brand of gameplay, Batman A Telltale Series Chapter 1, Realm of Shadows won't win you over. For Telltale and Batman comic fans alike though, an engrossing and exciting, if somewhat familiar, story awaits. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. This is a Telltale game through and through. You are herded along a linear narrative with periodic prompting to choose different and sometimes opposing actions or dialogue choices. These choices will marginally alter the game narrative, but everyone will end up at the same chapter conclusion. Shadow of Realms takes place very early in the Batman timeline, at a place where Bats and Lieutenant Gordon have yet to establish a relationship. The cast of characters also includes a pre-Two-Face Harvey Dent, Catwoman, Vicki Vale, Oswald Cobblepot, Carmen Falcone, and, of course, Alfred. Given the longevity and history of the characters, the storyline cannot help but feel familiar at times. Telltale spices things up, though, by slightly reconfiguring the long-established relationships. If this first chapter is any indication, Telltale promises to delve just as deep into the Bruce Wayne character as Batman. By the end of this first chapter, the history of the Wayne family is called into question and leaves us with some great hanging questions of our own. Telltale Games employs several control schemes attempting to bridge the gap between the Arkham series and their own brand in several ways during combat. Action sequences involve correctly hitting the prompted button or swiping a certain direction with the analog, filling up a bat meter. Once the meter is filled, the battle is over, so this allows the players to miss an action or two without having to replay the whole fight. In one sequence, you are required to scout out enemy placements and map your plan of attack in advance, basically becoming a stunt choreographer. It was cool to see your pre-planning play out like a movie sequence in brutal fashion. The game also delves into the more detective-like side of things. Through the use of various bat tools, you piece together crime scenes and clues by examining, scanning, and linking evidence. One location lays out some interesting and gruesome clues for Batman to piece together, leading to an interrogation sequence where you have the choice of going all dark or playing it more sane. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. The production values of the game are excellent, with character models and environments rendered in great detail. Batman's comic book origins are given great visual depth and are beautifully rendered, at times feeling just like a comic book come to life. Going in hand with that is a stellar voice cast that includes a near unrecognizable Troy Baker as Batman and Bruce Wayne. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. Technically, the game has had a few issues with the PC version having to do with video drivers. I experienced such issues myself, but Telltale has been releasing a steady stream of patches to address those problems. The game runs fine in my rig, but I do notice screen tearing during panning shots. Telltale has tuned their play mechanics in this Batman series to entice Arkham fans to a more story over gameplay type of experience. Despite feeling like it's treading over familiar ground in the lore department, the game has set up an intriguing storyline that has me invested enough to continue on with this adventure.